Chicago where we have the 2025 Dodge Durango SRT Hellcat Hammerhead. I think this is one of the last. I'm gonna crack the window and let you hear this takeoff. We're just gonna get right into it. horsepower I believe 710 in a family third row SUV I know this vehicle the Hellcat Durango has been out for a while but trust me once you drive it this thing never gets old I think this is your first time in a Hellcat yeah. Durango that wasn't painful well, no was it wasn't it? bad it wasn't yeah, bad at all yeah <laughs> the all-wheel drive helps out it a lot a lot you actually don't even feel the the g-forces as you would say when you take off in this because this all-wheel drive is tuned so perfectly and i do have it in track mode just to get the full effect at the moment but this is one of the last hellcats so if you want to get a brand new hellcat especially a family size one hey this is the time to get it right now um especially when a guy like me as a car guy who has a family has a wife that likes to drive by the way guys i would give her the black key right now we have the red key do you know about the black and the red key no nope. all right the black key gives you so many horses i'm not gonna don't quote me but i think the black key unlocks 500 around 500 horses when you start the car with the black key when you start the car with the red key it unlocks the whole 710 horses wow. so yeah this is a good safety for parents who have a hellcat but their kids want to take it out for a spin get the black key <laughs> this stays in the safe but this thing is nice and i have a little cheat sheet here you guys didn't see me glancing down this one right here has a base price of ninety-seven thousand, and it's tested at 115 so it's not cheap but you're getting a special vehicle with that 6.2 liter supercharged hemi and remember this is a 2025 so you can count on one hand how many vehicles still have the Hemi. Actually, I think this might be the only one. I think so. So guys, enjoy it while it lasts. Suede steering wheel. The carbon fiber, the, the forged carbon fiber accents going on the doors and across the dashboard with the gloss black going around the navigation. Of course, you have your digital cluster that's featuring the red accents as well and these beautiful seats does it say the name and the, the color of the interior on there yes it's black slash hammerhead gray black slash hammerhead gray okay this is hammerhead gray so you have a dodge durango hammerhead srt hammerhead with black and hammerhead gray seats wow mm -hmm. limited edition I think this one might be the one to collect. Man, 710 of horses. This thing is, is smooth. Most cars with this kind of power, you're gonna feel every bump in the road. They got the low profile tires. They cost three, four times more than this vehicle. And with this, and most of those cars too are two seaters. Some of them are four. But here you have two, four, six seven seats seven seats 710 horsepower all-wheel drive pretty much the last of the american muscle being that they're bringing all the evs and stuff but i mean this i mean the supercharged hemi v8 this is it guys this this is it i don't even know how differently i can say that this is it and the paint job is beautiful what was it you got the name of the paint on this exterior paint it's like a metallic blue nope it's uh night moves night moves yeah. i got the moves i got the moves oh. all right now i'm gonna say it. i look at my rear view and what happens i can see a cop trolling the hellcat oh well, now he's gonna go past see and see they always go after the hellcats that's why you can't do too much in the hellcats because everybody's gonna look for them see looking
right, guys, for all you muscle heads, Hellcat loving, V8 loving guys, this is pretty much the last. This is the 2025 Dodge Durango SRT Hellcat Hammerhead. And I got my little cheese seat, so bear with me, but you guys see right there, of course, the 20s. But this thing is beautiful in this nice, what is the color? The color, the exterior color is called Night Moves. It's like a dark metallic. Of course, it has the accents right there. You can hear that engine running. Now, the one thing that makes this car different from the rest of the uh, Durangos is that this interior, these seats are called, this is black accent with hammerhead gray interior. And I love the, the brown they chose right there. That's a nice contrast. Uh, not too many different things going on. You have the two different color stitching. You have the brown and the white right there. And going around on the dashboard and the doors, you have this forged carbon look. And of course, the Harman Kardon speakers, the SRT badged floor mats, supercharger on the door seals. But this thing is the typical Durango you guys are used to. But I mean, what's so typical about a three row, 710 horsepower, that's right, 710 horsepower SUV, all wheel drive. I mean, this thing will throw you back in your seat. Most people that get in this thing when you take off will get nauseous. And that's what you love. Those kids are bothering you in the back seat. They won't stop talking. Just go ahead and put it in launch mode real quick. They'll be done after that. But if you guys want one, this is the time to get it. These things are rare and they are going away. I think this hammerhead might be the one you guys definitely want.